on Squarespace gallery blocks and gallery sections, you can add alt text or image metadata whatsoever. Whereas on a standard image, you can, or at least you can add the image alt text and you can change the file name within Squarespace. Now on galleries, you can't. And finally, there's actually a solution to this, or at least it goes some way to be in a solution to this. And it's something I found in the menus while I was just having a fiddle around the other day. And basically within the developer tools in Squarespace now, there's the option to enable image metadata import for galleries. And what this essentially means is we can bring in um, alt text, titles, descriptions, etc., to gallery blocks and sections. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. To import our image metadata, it's nice and simple. We go into settings and then we're going to go down to developer tools, which is here. And you can see we've got some options beneath. All we need to do is click image metadata importing and then we want to enable this. And basically, does what it says on the tin. It just allows information to be transported into Squarespace and it can then auto populate. So it says here, uh, auto populate an image title, description, uh, tags, and location upon import into a gallery. So essentially, images in the gallery can have this metadata. So we click enable, click save, and that's that nice and simple. Go back and you're done. Now, what this does is it solves the issue with Squarespace where we have in our gallery blocks, we can't actually add any metadata and then same for the gallery sections. So you can only add descriptions and links. If we go into edit image, it just takes us into the crop tool. So this is a great advancement, I'd say. What's strange is that they can't just give us the same option as they do but images whereby if we were to add an image in here, like so, we can't just say, you know, here's the image alt text. But it's definitely a step in the right direction. So if you want to add this metadata in, then obviously add it in before you import to Squarespace, enable the metadata toggle that I've just showed you, and then you're good to go. So if you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.